some temperatures, Jim. <laughs> Good evening and welcome to this new video. As I told you last week, today I'm doing a bike fit at Mago. I'm at the shop, so I'm gonna ring the bell and see if Frank's here. Hey, hey. hey. Yeah. I'm just so gonna film everything, okay? Okay, it's fine cool. by me. This is Frank, he's yes. the bike fitter. Hi. So we're gonna do the bike fit on my crit bike because that's the one that I won the race on and where I want to make the most improvements. So Frank is putting on my other saddle because a guy rode over my saddle with his car yesterday. So Koers is a bike shop, the fanciest bike shop in Rotterdam and Frank has his own uh, office thingy for uh, for bike fits and wheel building and massages apparently. <laughs> right. Yes. You know what we are going to do today? Uh, no idea. Now what we are going today, I told you before that I was, I call it myself, a basic fitter. Uh -huh. uh, I really like the discussion what happens, how does it feel, what we are going to do. Yeah. Uh, today we're going uh, to do uh, uh, three of the four stages of a bike fit. Yeah. Uh, one is we do a little bit of discussion, an interview with you, what uh -huh. kind of rider you are, what are your problems right now, you, you told yeah. me already a little bit. Uh, after that we're doing the 15 exercises to check uh, what's your, how's your body okay. behaving, yeah. what's maybe a little bit of problem, we can see if there is a problem where it should come from. Yeah. After that, the bike's already in the Wahoo, uh, so we're going to see how you sitting right now on the bike, uh -huh. and we do changes. We start with the pedals, with yeah. the shoes, the yeah. feet, yeah, yeah, yeah. check uh, your, your soles, check for stability. Mm -hmm. After that, we go to review your saddle, just check, okay, is this the right width, yeah, is it yeah. the right form, we go to check that out. Yeah. Uh, I have a lot of uh, uh, saddles to test, so uh -huh. uh, that will uh, we see in the future. Cool. Uh, saddle height, and after that we are going to measure how your flexibility is, yeah. and then we are going to copy to your bike. Okay. You're a crit racer, so uh -huh. we're going to uh, look for an aerodynamic position. A fast position. A fast yeah. position, <laughs> yeah. Uh, we, we can find the limits of your body. Uh -huh. If you are a normal uh, road racer, then uh, we are going to check for a more a comf comfortable position. Yeah. So that's really important yeah, yeah, yeah. for this position. Exactly. Yes. We're looking for speed. After that, you have a race uh, Saturday, so yep. uh, we're going to see then if there are some uh, differences, uh -huh. if you feel some differences. Yeah. Uh, for me, it's best to ride a few times, and after that you can uh, come back, we can and see review it. Can, we can review it and okay. maybe do some little changes. Okay, sounds good. Let's do it. So first an interview. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I ask you a little bit about your background. Yeah. Quite new to road racing, I think. Yes, Over first year. Yeah. First year. Right. I think you're gonna change it to your kit. Yes. yes. What's well, this measuring? It's uh, is the, the the arc of your foot. Yeah. It says something about the, the muscle under your foot. So what happens when you uh, ride? The arc will drop. Yeah, because you put pressure on it. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, there is no stability, so you need drops a little bit in and yeah. could uh, prevent if we could uh, have some uh, some knee problems uh -huh. so i have some things that i will show you later and what we can uh, can do about that uh -huh. okay um, yeah because i have these uh, giro yeah. shoes and i have different exactly arch or yeah. thingies yeah, yeah. The, that's a really good start i'm really happy with giro uh, yeah, shoes that they, because, do uh, yeah. they do this but it's not enough no <laughs> okay yeah next thing what we're going to do Measure your on oh, seat bones. Yeah. yeah. Your foot on the on the uh, yeah. support. Yeah. The support. Yes. Uh, knees together, back straight, and pull yourself into the into the pins. Yes. 
looks dangerous. Yeah. That's the result. So that's the middle of your uh, seating boat? Yeah. And that decides how wide the exactly. saddle should be. Exactly. Your uh, uh, width is uh, 10. That's yeah. really narrow. Of really narrow. It's oh. narrow. Yeah. And um, uh, normally uh, people with non less seating position, yeah. um, they have wider seating bones. When, for example, you have 13, you have to sit on a saddle right here. Yeah. What happens if you uh, have uh, you, your with your seating bone next to the saddle, you go to sit here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they have zero support. Yeah. Zero support. The the saddle will uh, uh, get into your body, uh -huh. and uh, because you are seating, you have no seating position, yeah, 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 yeah. and that will uh, cause uh, numbness. Yeah. The other thing that happens is that your uh, seating bones are uh, next to the saddle. You have no support, so your back will always be in movement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that will cause after two hours. So actually, it's more n normal that you have problems if you have wider seat bones than in my case, could really be. narrow yeah, ones. Could yeah. Be. Stretch leg, we're going to see your flexibility. Uh -huh. uh, there is an angle we're going to measure. Yeah. If we are like your bike is right out in the drops, we uh, can check if you are, your drop is too high. Yeah. So if, we, if you uh, go above this angle, the drop is too high. Yeah. If you are if, uh, far away from this angle, what we're going to measure, uh -huh. then we can drop you a little bit more. Okay. M be more. Error. Yeah, more error. Yeah. Uh, if you, your drop is too high, then uh, your back or your hamstrings won't uh, won't like it, yeah. and the oxygen in your uh, in your legs will uh, will soon be uh, depleted. Yeah, exactly. All right, cool. And uh, that's what we are going to check. Uh huh. Okay, flexibility is uh, is uh, in the okay range. Uh, it's always better to uh, do something about flexibility. more flexible. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So there is some room so for my room. girlfriend tells me I need to do yoga with her. I should. Yeah, it's a good yeah. idea. But it's really, really difficult and hard training to get more flexible. Right, so the bike fit is finished. Um, I think we took uh, we took our time. We started at seven. It's ten now, so uh, three hours already. We changed a couple of things. First of all, we put some new soles into my shoe, which gives me more stability because they used to do a little bit like this, and now they stay out. Yes. Uh, which helps my knee uh, on both sides, so that's cool. Then we changed the saddle. We put it forward two centimeters, which relaxed my shoulders a bit. And no, more power. You can deliver more power ah, yeah. if you settle this a little bit more. Ah, yeah, because my knees were more forward. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. All right. So more power because my seat is more forward. And then we changed the handlebars to a smaller drop. Yes. So that I'm a little bit more upright and then my shoulders relax. Yeah, your shoulders relax and I think you can breathe a little bit better yeah. so the oxygen goes better yeah. to your muscles. Also yeah. more power. Also more yeah. power. <laughs> yeah, we hope so. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. All right, so that's three changes. Now I'm going to ride my bike for two weeks. Of course, the race on Saturday and then uh, a couple more training rides. 
to see if the changes help and then I'm gonna come back here to change some more or less yeah. or put it back. We're going to have a new discussion yeah. and see what the changes uh, uh, brought to you and uh, yeah, let's, let's see. Cool. Yeah. Now I have a couple of questions from viewers of last week's video mm -hmm. that I want to ask you and that we can shortly discuss yeah. and then, uh, then we're done. First question from Aforanti. Uh, question for BikeFit. If you have had a fitting on your current bike and it feels good, can you take all your measurements and apply them to a new and similar bike or do you definitely need a fresh fitting for the new bike? Okay, nice question. Uh, normally uh, if you have a, a bike fit and it feels good, it's, you should be happy I think. It's good to, to have a great fit on your, on your bike, uh, uh, of course. Um, I think you can take all the measurements and put it on your new bike. It would be uh, would not be a problem because you don't get any injuries. I, I normally say a bike fit will last two or three years uh -huh. and then do an update uh, because yeah your body changes. Maybe you get a, uh, you get a better f um, uh, physical health. Maybe you get a little bit older, so that could be yeah. there. There is a difference in your body and just check it out. Yeah. So and I, I guess it's also because. If you have a bike for a certain reason, then your position might be better in a different way. Yeah. Like for example, the crit bike, my crit bike is much more aggressive position exactly. than my road bike because on yeah. the road bike I do 150 kilometer rides and on the crit bike it's always 30 kilometers or less. Exactly. Yeah. Next question from Robu. Thanks for the question. Is there a rough guide that helps you determine saddle size and cutout shape or is it all completely personal? I've heard about measuring your sit bones. Yes, good question. I think maybe we uh, already uh, did it a little bit with the with the fit, or not a little bit. We did it with the fit. It's really important to to measure your seating uh, seating bones. Uh, it's uh, really important that you are sitting on them uh, properly. Uh, two big reasons. It's for your back because if you're not sitting on your uh, seating bones, then um, and you don't have any stability and your back will move a lot and uh, with uh, a few hours ride your back gets tired and it could be painful. The other one is that if you are sitting on your uh, seating bones then you uh, don't have any pressure in, uh, in other parts of your uh, uh, seating area so that's really important I think. For the rest, it's indeed really personal yeah. to have the good shape. Go to a proper bike store, they can help you measure your sit, uh, seating bones and yeah. it will help uh, a lot. Yeah. A and just fit. try out different things to see exactly. what works for you. Yeah. Yeah. Right, last question from Nicolas Martin or Nicolas Martin, I don't know where you're from. Um, as a bike fit prevents a lot of injuries, to complete this, what kind of exercises can we do off the bike before and after to last in the sport? And do I have to stretch right after I ride or wait until my body temperature drops? So, stretching etiquette. Should we do it and when should we do it? Stretching is, uh, is, is uh, uh, what I see a lot in, uh, in bike training that it, I think it's a little bit of a forgotten area, but what's really important is stability, flexibility. I think there needs to be a lot yeah. to be done. I see a lot of people in the bike fit are, who are not, uh, don't, don't have a, a good core stability, mm -hmm. are not flexible. So yes, there you should, should work on. Uh, stretching uh, your cold, don't do it. No. Because it's really dangerous that you, uh, that you, 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 you overstretch. So it's better to stretch afterwards then? Yeah, I think so, yeah. And but straight after, instead yeah. of an hour after. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but ask a trainer for this. Training besides yeah. the bike is good. Yeah. That's yeah. what I try to say, to get more flexible, more core stability, yeah. and a little bit stretching, yes. yes. So yoga? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. All start doing yoga. Do that <laughs> uh, This is going to be the end of the video. Uh, we'll see Frank in maybe two weeks, and then we'll do a little update in the video as well. So thank you very much. Yes, no and, thanks. Uh, it's a pleasure. I'll see you on the race on Saturday. Yeah. Cool. Will be. Cool. Have a nice weekend. Yes. Bye bye. <laughs>
terrible thing. Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't hurt, but it's annoying because it squeaks sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah I agree. So yeah. uh, I don't know if that's if there's anything we can do to change it. You can I don't check know. where yeah. your knees are. In, uh, in yeah.